Well, I was wanting to let you, uh, you guys see what I'm up to today. As you can see, this tree that got cut down. And inside, there's bees. It did rain pretty good the last night and this morning. So you can see some dead bees on top of it. Still a good amount of noise going on inside. So I'm going to do my best to get these out of here and hopefully I can catch the queen and get to everybody. The tree's rotted inside. It's not so much rotted on the outer edges. Um, I don't want to disturb them with a chainsaw. I brought a bow saw. I'm going to cut some of this stuff out of the way and see if I can work my way down and hopefully run into a queen and some other bees. There's a good amount of noise going on, so I think there's more bees up inside of it. I can't really tell until I get in there. It's still uh, drizzling outside a little bit, so they're already not going to be in a good mood. And of course, I'm in a jacket with no full suit, so I'm expecting my knees to get all stung to pieces. But, uh... This is in a lady's backyard, and she'd really like to, to have the bees you know, saved, and the way the weather's coming in. If I leave them out here and it keeps getting rained on, I don't know if they're going to make it, so I'm going to do my best to get them out of here. Uh, usually I don't I do not do this kind of stuff, but apparently a lady called a friend of mine, and he's out of town today, and posted up to see if somebody else could go take a look at it, so I'm here. And uh, we'll, we'll get started and see what we can see later. Now we got some of the branches cut out of the way, you can see what's going on. I think it's all pretty well contained into here and this is skinny enough if I need to cut the top of this off to check I can I'm gonna put the phone down in a minute and get on this branch and see if I can break this trunk and roll it over and uh, I don't know if that brood on the outer edge it doesn't look like it's gonna be any good but maybe there's something down the middle that's actually still dry and warm and uh, we'll see what I can get out of here Oh, there's more comb going up there, and then maybe in that other section. Looks like I'm going to be here for a little while. Yeah, I'm going to need both hands to get this. Alright, so I've been cutting comb out for a while. And uh, rubber banding it in the frames and taking out the smashed and really nasty pieces and leaving them out. There's still a lot of bees in here. I notice if you start looking up inside of it, if you come down here and look underneath, there's bees up here too. So I'm guessing that comb goes all the way up through here. So I don't really want to use a chainsaw, and I didn't bring one in the first place, so I guess a little bit of physical manpower and a bow saw, and I'm going to start working my way up through this for who knows how long. As most all the brood down here got rained on and cold and it's dead, but everything up in here should be dry and warm. So there should be good bees. And if there's a queen left in here that's still alive, she's in here somewhere. So I'm gonna try to find her. Okay, so where I'm at now, taking all the drawn comb out that there is, cut this piece of the tree off. I had the boxes laying on top of this and from the inside I smoked them after I got most of them on the end to get them to leave I took some bee quick and soaked the inside of that down with it most everybody in this thing came up got on the frames I've knocked them into some boxes with some of that comb I rubber banded in now the other half of the bees split up the other trunk and they're all down here so I'm going to try to get all this cleaned out and right there I'm going to try to cut that off where I can isolate them and just pick it up and knock them into a box. There's no drawn comb up there, it's just bees. And I'm assuming the queen's up there too. So I'm going to take a, a break for a minute, get some of the drink, and then come back and finish. It's a little bit of wax underneath that of a branch that I'll clean out in a minute. There's all the rest of the bees I haven't gotten in the box and where I think the queen is. So they were and I've smoked and ran them up to about this point here so that's where I'm gonna cut that off and I can just take this log and 
start shaking it into these other boxes with the rest of the bees. Well, I'm finally done. Here's that piece of the tree that I cut off that I'm pretty sure the queen was in. After I cut it off and shook all the bees out of it. Bees kept coming back to it over and over again like I had the queen pheromone on it. So I dumped them out again, smoked it real well, and I took some bee quick. And I soaked the inside of it down to keep the bees completely out of it and not coming back. And I took it away from where the hive was and threw it off to the side. And they've left it alone since then. Here's the upper part that I cut it off of. The bees were originally in. Here's what's left where I started. There are, you know, bees are gonna be straggling. Some bees took off now that the sun's come out and they're coming back home. Dumped all the bees into here. I left the lid open for a little while. A lot of bees came back. I brushed them in, smoked them down. You can see by the vent hole there's some bees trying to get in right now. But realistically, I can't sit here and try to get every single bee. The way they're acting and fanning, I'm pretty sure the queen's inside. I've removed all the wax that's out here, so I'm gonna load it up and take it home. And the stragglers that are here will, you know, in a day or two, they'll all scatter and go about and they'll be gone. So uh, that's that's the end of it. I'm gonna take these home, get them out of this tray, and put them on a bottom board. I'll probably have to take some new cat brood and some drawn found uh, drawn wax from one of my bigger hives just because all the rain that came through pretty much killed all the brood that's in here. I uh, rubber banded seven or eight frames of it in just because there's a lot of pollen and there's honey in it. But the brood's pretty much gone. And uh, you know, I'll put some new brood in that way to help kind of anchor the queen down and give her some more delay and I'll clean all this old stuff out and I'll probably just you know, melt it down and clean it and you know, make wax strips or candles or something out of it with the rest of my wax. Well, I've got everybody home from that tree, and I've uh, got them inside of this hive here. See, I put, I have a lot of those little uh, choroplast pieces already cut as entrance reducers with some jar feeders, so I went ahead and put them on. I'll probably have to eventually have to use the jar feeders. Oh, they're not having fun of me being very close to them. They're still pretty ticked. Um, let me zoom in here. The bottom box is empty. I've got a queen excluder above it. Then the box in the middle has all that uh, comb that I cut out and rubber banded in. I also took a, a frame of cat brood and a frame of honey out of a never hive and dropped in there to help lock them down. That box on top just has 10 empty foundationless frames. I just put it on to give them some more room because there actually was quite a lot of bees in there. Just I don't want them to want to take off so I want to make sure that they feel like they have enough room. And uh, you know, later on I'll, I'll take that off or add comb to it or you know, just do what I need to do with it. But for right now, this is just to make them feel like they have a larger tree cavity that they're back in. And just trying to give them one less reason to want to leave. Um, I'll leave that queen excluder on probably until towards the end of the, this coming week. And then I'll take it off. And if they stay, they do. And if they take off after that, um, I'm not going to try any harder to make them stay. It's just up to them. There are quite a lot of bees in the back and around the vent holes on top trying to get in. So... I'm fairly sure the queen's in there from the way they're acting and the way they're sniffing it out. But, um, you know, I'm, I don't really know if she's there or not. I'm fairly sure she is, but I can't say for 100% you know, that she is. And um, I'm just going to leave them alone the rest of the night. I'm not going to put a feeder, if any feed in their jars or anything. That frame and honey up inside next to the brood, I hope will help draw them in. And then tomorrow I need to come out and feed some of these other nukes anyway, and I'll give them a little bit of feed. And uh, that's where they're going to stay for a while. So I just wanted to show you that.